First question. Go ahead, Rita. <laughs> Ken, two for two. Two for two in the CN thing. How cool is that for you? Uh, a great start. Now, now we got to keep keep being great. So we'll see if, uh, if we're up for the challenge. But we'll we'll get our best shot. Yeah. You saw the time that you had to beat, of course, Reeds. And where do you think that you made up those two seconds? Those two seconds. Uh, you know, I was, I was thinking a lot about the horses coming behind me. Um, BZ's on the horse that won the World Cup Finals. You know, one of the best riders in the world on a fast horse. Charlie Jane has a very big gallop on that horse, similar to mine. So I thought that those were both real real threats coming after me. Um, so it was more about just sticking to my own strategy, uh, using my horse's strengths, which are his bravery and his, and his great gallop. So I just, I just let him open up right from the start and, and kind of didn't let up. Can you talk about the, the course a bit, a very technical course? Yeah, sure. I thought, um, you know, for today I was actually surprised. They, they, although it adjusted the time allowed, usually he adjusts it the other direction. Um, <laughs> so that was, that was nice. Um, I, you know, a lot of technical lines today um, with that combination open face Liverpool to a wide ox and then a very short, short distance to one of the most difficult jumps that we have in the ring, which is the bike fence. Uh, it's, it's narrow, it's delicate, and, uh, you know, very tall today. And then finishing with a line after the triple combination, very wide oxer to sort of an open distance to again one of the most delicate jumps on the on the course, the CN plank, which is notorious for uh, you know letting you down at the end. So uh, you know I thought it was a, a well built course, technical, and um, you know I think he probably got just the right amount clear that he wanted. Did you? No, I expecting. Even uh, a little bit more cleans, but but I am I am happy with the six cleans, and uh, the time allowed I put it up, but I believe that I had an, enough course at the beginning, and uh, the reality is I take care very well of the welfare of the horses, and I want to give it the chance to go around the the after the long distance three stride that they can go around of the CN jump. And make it and, and make the time allowed. I I think was uh, when when you turn after the, the, this type of distances turning short. I that was my feeling. Was it a bit of a? Were you thinking of last week with Kent following you in the jump off? Was it? <laughs> you, there was a pretty big gallop down to that second last stop. I'm living under some kind of a curse. At the minute I've been second about. 25 times in a row now. <laughs> I, I actually, I had a feeling he would beat me going after me. Um, I came in a little fast with that combination in the first round, and she was quite good to me, so I wanted out of that big gallop to really make sure I gave her a better chance this round. So I'm sure he came in faster, and uh, he did the big 10 to 12C, which I definitely could have done. Um, it's kind of how it goes going early in the jump off. Uh, yeah, I actually thought I had a win earlier in the day with Micah, the meter 50, and BZ got me in the end, but just making me hungrier, I guess. <laughs> we must be really happy with how she performed. Oh, she was fantastic. I actually thought that I wasn't totally spot on in the first round, but she was there for me today. You know, it's part of being a team. She was definitely on today, and she carried me through the first round. And I'm happy with my second place finish. I wish I could have beaten him, but there's still a few weeks left. Charlie, what about for you? You were a little later in the order. So did you have a chance to watch everyone? Um, I didn't have a chance to watch anyone. I had a couple of my friends watch Kent in specific because I have the most similar stride to him, I think. And Candace told me, you know, you got to nail it from one and do, I think it was 11, 10 or 11 strides, what Kent did. Um, I started galloping about 50 strides away, <laughs> and the wrong one happened to show up. And uh, it just kind of made a decision after I got 10, um, after I got, I think, 12 defense two, that I was just going to try to go for a clear round, and uh, I was really happy with the way he was. He had been knocking on the door the last two weeks. I had been making little rider errors, so I was happy that I fixed those for today. You raise a good point, Charlie. Did you feel you had lots of horse? Because you really hit the throttle <laughs> a long way from the start line, we noticed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> For some reason, the 16-foot rails are very impressive. Well, not for some reason, they're very impressive here, and that's the one jump in the first round that he kind of didn't jump well, was the CN Oxer um, that was jump three in the jump off. Well, it was also fence one in the jump off, so I was a little worried that he's going to be backing off. He didn't back off, but <laughs> I got there a little too deep, and I shifted right, and 
that happens. What are you gonna spend your bonus on? Uh, nothing. I'll, I'll put it away <laughs> and uh, and forget about it for a while, and then just stay focused on uh, on what's still left to do here. I'll buy a few rounds probably at the at the pub for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> on the record, now I'm not worried yet. <laughs> Ken, you are aware that no, nobody's ever done three. We've had a few riders do two, but never get the yeah, three. Yeah, I, I heard, I heard that. So uh, <laughs> just a little pressure. Maybe we can, maybe we can break the break the curse there, but um, you know that'll be hard work here. It, you know, it's difficult to win anywhere, um, especially here in those classes. You have you have top competitors, big jumps, and uh, you know two round series course for the for the Queen Elizabeth, and um, and the same for the Masters. You know, against the best riders in the world. That's that's certainly not going to be easy. Ken, how did you feel coming off today in the warm-up for the first round? Great. Uh, he felt wild. Um, that, that's how he's at his best. Keep him really fresh. Don't, don't overshow him, like I talked about last time. Um, he, he knows what he's doing now, so he doesn't really need experience. And I think my job now as a, as a rider and as a horseman is to manage his career try to make it last as long as I can and part of that is spotting him in the right classes and picking the right venues and taking the best care of the horse. So when can we see him next? Uh, now I'll have a couple weeks off and we'll bring him back out for the week of the Queen's Cup. Further questions? I'm just going to ask uh, each of you in terms of your uh, your plans for the horses that went today. We all know that uh, that Yuseko is going to rest until the North American. What are you going to do with your horses, uh, Reed and, and Charlie? Um, I have to look at the schedule. We're going to kind of reassess after the week off. But my horse is miserable. She's not jumping. <laughs> She's happiest when she's showing frequently. Um, I'll try not to overuse her, but. We'll see. I'm also maybe not going to do indoors in the States this year. I haven't decided yet, so I'm trying to get my World Cup qualifying done rather early, which is going well so far. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do a similar plan to Kent. Um, my horse jumped the Nations Cup great on Thursday, and he's done a good amount of jumping this first two weeks, so I think I'm going to get my horse two weeks off and then do the last two. Great. Any further questions? Well, congratulations to all of you. It was a great day for the red, white, and blue, and uh, and uh, also I think for for Charlie and Kent, well done. But I think the young American women also showed really strongly today, and that bodes well for the the next generation that are chasing you guys. Not just you, Reed, but there was lots of others out in the ring. So uh, congratulations to all of you, and well done, Leopoldo. A great track, and uh, everyone gets to rest for a few days now, and we'll get back after it at the Canada One Tournament. So thank you very much, and I'm sure there'll be some one-on-ones after this. Thanks. I, I just wanted to say thank you again to CN for being such a long-time sponsor for the war sport. I think it's they've done amazing things for the sport, along with Spruce Meadows. So thank you. Thanks, Charlie. Well said. All right.